We're going to now colorize the parking lights and we're going to make our selection with the pen tool. And you'll watch the paths panel this time and see what happens. We're going to do more alpha channels with this car as well, but I want to do the lights separately because they're going to be selected in a different way. So we're going to start with the pen tool. I'm, I'm going to zoom in first. There. Now I've gone back to the pen tool. I'm going to click, click and drag to make a curved and or bezier point, whatever you prefer to call it. Click, click to, to make an anchor point and I'm pulling to make a curve or dragging, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm going to have to fiddle with this, I can see already. And now I'm going to close it. See that circle? I'm going to close it. Now I can see I need to move things around. I can go to my white arrow. I can stay in the pen and use a modifier key, which would be the command key on a Mac, the control key on a PC. Oops, they must, <coughs> they must all be selected. Oh, darn. Let me click off and then click back on. There we go. Sometimes if all the points are selected, it doesn't do what you want it to do. You want to, the nice thing about the direct selection tool or the white arrow is you can select individual anchor points. Uh, you cannot do that with the black. The black one will make a copy, but the white one will let you edit more um, sophisticated point, one point at a time. So that doesn't look so bad. Oh, let's see. This could come out just a teeny tiny bit. There we go. All right. Um, again, I'm going to hold the modifier key. So there's my left screen left headlight. I'm going to press the space bar to temporarily get the hand tool so I can pan over to the other. I'm sorry, not headlight, parking light. And I'm now I didn't change anything. I'm on this work path because I want them both to be on the same work path. I'm going to click here to start a new path. Click and drag. Click and drag. I'm going to click here. Click and drag a little bit. There's going to be some editing that's going to have to be done. Click and drag here. Click and drag there. Click and drag. Oops, there, and okay, there's a little bit of editing. I'm going to hold down the modifier key, which is the command key on the Mac. Again, I did the same thing. Click off of here and now grab a point. This is the point I want to grab. Terrific. Click this point right here. It looks like I could grab the handle. I really want to break these handles. So I'm going to hold the option key. See, that's that. If you did it on the main anchor point, it'll change it to linear. If I do it on the handle, I get instead of like a seesaw with the hand with the, with the um, curve point, I get more of a they're separate and I can edit them separately. See, they're separate from each other. You can join them back in. That's the beauty of the pen tool. When you get comfortable with it, you have a lot more control. So I'm just, I, I'm holding, I'm using the modifier key. I could go to the white arrow, whatever you're more comfortable with. Just use it. That's what'll make you comfortable. So now, it looks like I should pull this out just a teeny bit. Okay. Well, hmm, maybe I'll break them too. There we go. See, now those are separate. And I can do that. Oop. Let's see. Oop, that added a point. Yeah, I need to move that just a tiny bit. Okay, that's good. Now I've got both of the parking lights on here. I'm going to name this parking lights. Uh, lights. Let me check that. Lights. Oh, 
not that that matters that much. She will name things the way you want to name things. Now to get, you know, in Photoshop you must have marching ants to, to get a stencil. So I'm going to change this so I've got my marching ants. I'm going to double click the hand tool so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to turn off Chris's name. Thank you, Chris, for a wonderful picture. And I am going to get the adjustments again and get an adjustment layer up for the parking lights. There's the properties panel. Remember, we use colorize. And I'm going to move over to a yellow green and ramp up the saturation. I think that looks pretty cool. And we've got the same thing going on. Remember, I'm going to change this from hue saturation to hue parking lights so that as I build on this project, I will know what's what. I won't be confused. So there we go. See, there's the parking lights. If I go back to the car layer, the only thing that's there is the alpha channel we made earlier. So that was in Headlights, I believe, was the uh, project. Headlights, Alpha Channel Headlights. So there you have it, and we'll have more to do with Alpha Channels next time.